when they read the first statement, parang naging sure po kami na ako yung nagsabi nun about Ella. And that that's why I was like, yeah, okay, like I said that. Hello, good evening, everyone. I am Richard of Lionheart TV, and we have here Alisa, data civicte si ng Pinoy Big Brother Connect. Hello, Alisa. Hi. Kumusta naman? Okay lang po. Um, I feel a lot better now, actually. <laughs> ano yung first thing na ginawa mo na lumabas ka ng Big Brother house? A few days ago lang yan. First thing, actually, nung pagkalabas na pagkalabas ko po, everything was so overwhelming kasi I was in the house for, I think, more than two months. So seeing anything, like, something different from the house was just so overwhelming. So wala, wala po talaga ako nagawa nung, ano, nung pagkalabas ko ng bahay. And then, um, because of everything that's still happening with the world, like the pandemic, um, wala talaga akong pwedeng gawin. So I kind of just, like, I focused on, like, what I could do with, you know, like, what's happening in my brain. So that's what I focused on. For a few weeks na nasa Big Brother House ka, syempre, para may mga bagay na nakasanayan ka. So, uh, paglabas mo, may hinahanap ka pa bang something na yung para nakasana- na- naging habit mo na sa loob? Oh my God, yung lapel po talaga. Lagi ko siyang nasa isip. Um, I would always... Kasi po sa bahay, like in the last, I think my last five weeks of bahay, um, my, my lapel would always like point to the side. So like it became a habit for me na is straighten siya. And it, parang nung pagkalabas ng pagkalabas ko po, I would always like touch like the color of my shirt. Um, so yun lang po. Tapos may, may mga, um, pag may kinakausap po akong tao, I always think kung mababas, kung violation ba to or kung mababuzzer ba ako and stuff like that. So, yung mga weird things po na ganun. Pero, may bagay ka bang ano, um, ginawa agad kasi namimiss mo sa labas? Oh, um, listen to music po. Oh, yun talaga. Um, kasi sa bahay, very limited lang po yung songs na obviously na pwede namin marinig. Um, and I, obviously, that's part of the game. Pero po nung nakalabas na ako sa bahay, yung mga mga maliliit po na kanta na kinakanta ng mga housemates, yun talaga yung pinakinggan ko kagad. Mm. How about your family? Kumusta naman yung parang reception nila paglabas mo? Um, they were very happy. Um, hindi ko po in-expect na magiging ganun ka-emotional yung parents, especially because usually, like, in my life before the, before Kuya, my family was Like, we're never really emotional with each other. Pero po, nung paglabas ko, nung paglabas, nung paglabas ko talaga nung bahay, um, they were very, they weren't emotional, but they're, like, more happy than usual. And sobrang nakakatuwa lang po kasi I didn't think that they were even, like, watching me regularly. So, yeah, I was really glad na nakita ko po yung parents ko when I got out of the house. Wow, at least one thing talaga nakita mo kung gano'n ka sinuporta ng family mo. Yeah, yeah. And now you're out. Um, anong mga naging realizations mo, especially yung mga ginawa mo sa Big Brother House? May mga pinagsisihan ka ba or nabitin ka ba? Um, ito po yung, ito talaga yung iniisip ko, like my first and second day being not being in the house na inisip ko I've played the game as well as I could um I really did um yun yun po yung pinaka nasasayahan ako sa sarili ko na at least I don't have any regrets um because I wasn't really there for anything but for the experience um so I think I achieved that goal and secondly po um in terms of regrets no regrets talaga I mean like everyone's different and yung kung anong nakikita ng taong bayan like i always tell them na ngayon na may social media na ulit ako i always tell them na it's only bits of our day um and hindi talaga nakoconvey yung buong araw namin with the clips that they see kahit naman sa live stream like it's so different kung nandoon ka in person 
Um, in terms of Nabitin, syempre po, uh, it would have been fun. It would have been so exciting and so cool kung naabutan ko pa yung mga remaining tasks and challenges ni Kuya because that's what I love the most. Yung, yung mga challenges ko talaga. That's what I live for nung nasa bahay pa ako. Um, pero yun lang. But altogether, I was really happy with my experience. I was really happy with myself. Um, looking back, binigay ko naman po talaga. Like, I I fought. Kahit po may mga times na syempre, na, syempre nakakapagod na. Not just physically, but it was emotionally and mentally draining. Kasi po, yun yung nature talaga nung yung pagstay sa bahay. But no regrets. I was happy with my experience 100%. Pero may mga gusto lang ako linawin and i-clarify during your stay sa Big Brother house. Isa ka kasi sa mga most talk about housemates. Um, right. Siyempre, for sure, nabasa mo na yung iba sa mga... Ano kasi nakita ko na rin, pinalagam ka nila sa Twitter, yung mga dating housemates. So, nagkaroon ka ng issue with Chico. So, yeah. gusto ko maklarify kasi may mga tao na Um, siyempre, from perspective ng outside the house, yung mga nanonood lang sa TV, yeah. uy, pwede sila, pwede sila, kasi sexy si Alisa, si Chico is very hunky naman, so pwede sila love team. Tapos, um, it turned out hard pass pagdating sa'yo. So, what happened during those times? Um, with Chico, it's been, it's always been a roller coaster with Chico. I mean, every week, <laughs> Sinasabi ko nga sa kanya at sa mga ibang housemates na parang naging weekly task ko na yung pagsabi sa kanya na mag-connect naman tayo, Chico. Parang parang sa lahat ng housemates, siya, siya talaga yung least connected ako. So, I think um, I got to a point where I kind of just gave up on it kasi iniisip ko to have a genuine connection with someone, it has to be mutual. It can't just be one-sided. Um, and I think for me, ginawa ko naman yung part ko na I reached out to him and I told him how I felt. Pero kasi, like, some people, like, you, you can't connect with everybody. But, kasi inisip ko na I'm in Kuya's house anyway and the whole point of, the sh- of this season was to connect. So I thought, I might as well just go for it and, you know, like, make the most out of it. Um, but it didn't really turn out the way that I wanted it. Um, tapos po, I think, I think Chico is a very complex person. Um, So, dun po talaga nahirapan. And yung sa, yung sa comments niya about me with Amanda, um, that was such a weird day. Kasi nang, nangyari po yun, birthday ni Quincy. And I thought everyone was having, was having fun. I thought um, everything was taken lightly. Kasi everything was ano naman, lighthearted naman. Pero I didn't think na took it the wrong way. Um, I could honestly say sa... sa duration po ng pagstay ko sa bahay, I never implied to Chico and I, will, I liked him like that because one, I'm in a very stable relationship. Two, I know that he is in a relationship and I really wasn't planning to do anything. Like, alam ko naman sa mga ganitong bagay, like, we were parang sobrang dali po na na makita na, oh my God, Alyssa's 27, Chico's 26, they could be, they could be. And like, I was, I was prepared for that. Um, Not saying that uh, I I wanted it, but I was just prepared for it. And little excitement here and there didn't hurt anybody. Um, so I didn't really mind it. Pero hindi hindi po ganon yung pagtanggap ni Chico. And that's fine. I mean, everyone's different. Um, syempre po yung masakit lang was his comments to Amanda about myself. Because weeks before that, um, nag-usap po kami ni Chico about my issues and like I told him about like my my insecurities and how I was bullied when I was young and Um, body image talaga, like self-image and all about like like body and self-perception. Yun po talaga, dun ako nags struggle. And I was very um, vulnerable in front of him. And when he said that to Amanda, um, it just felt like he hit me where it hurt. And it hurt even more because I trusted him with, I was like, I trusted him with my most intimate issues. So yun lang. But a few days after that, he apologized and... Um, He said that we could be friends, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, look, it's been said. I mean, you can't take it back. At least you acknowledged it, at least, at the very least. So what else can I do? I mean, we live together. So yeah, I, I accepted his apology. And like I said, like we were just friends at the end of it. Ooh. 
Grabe, ang lalim nun. Anyways, um, dalawa sa mga na- napanood ko na, ano, syempre ako as a viewer, napapanood ko lang kayo. So, I only comment, comment and react on those, those things na nakikita ko. And natutuwa ako sa samahan nyo ni Andrea and Gian. Yeah. Anong meron sa dalawang to na talagang connected ka? Um, to be honest, nung pagpasok ko po, nakita ko yung ages ng housemate. I didn't expect na ako yung pinakamagiging matanda because sa in in my regular life, I'm always the youngest in my friend group. Tapos nung nakita ko yung mga housemates, sobrang bata pa nilang lahat. And so, parang nag-freak out po ako na, oh my God, like it's going to be really hard for me to connect with people because of the age gap and everything. Pero po, Andrea and Gian, they were like our connection sa aming pong tatlo were very organic. Um, sobrang nakaka, pag, in hindsight, like looking back, Sobrang kulit po ng dynamic namin because if you look at our background, sobrang ipang-iba po talaga kami. Like, not yeah. just age, but like, just just background and, and everything. Um, siguro po nag-click lang talaga kami tatlo because we, our, our sense of humor is very, very similar. Like, we laugh all day pag kami tatlo po magkakasama. And um, on the more serious side, those two girls, even though sobrang bata nila sa akin, I look up to them kasi sobrang strong, sobrang resilient, sobrang nakakabilib talaga, and they're very, very talented. Um, and I think they, parang they see a big sister in me kahit ganun sila, kahit ganun nila kausapin, kahit walang ate, ate, or anything like that. Like, it was like mutual love for each other. Um, and yun po yung isa sa pinakatrinit pressure ko sa journey ko sa loob ng bahay ni Kuya. Actually, ang cute nyo nga lagi kayo nasa frame na napapanood kayong tatlo. <laughs> Anyways, isa sa mga pinag-usapan din sa loob ng Big Brother House is yung um, pag-uusap nyo for, about Ella. And okay. nagkaroon siyempre ng cheese quiz kung saan pinarinig ni Big Brother lahat ng mga sinasabi nilang backstabbing sa kapwa housemates. But during the task, i-deny mo yung against kay Ella and put the blame kay Ralph. Ano bang nangyari doon? Okay, kasi nung we, we weren't expecting anything. I mean, sa loob po ng bahay ko, pag wala kang ginagawa all day, expect at the end of the day, there's something heavy. Like, something heavy is about to happen. Pero po, nag-play na lang siya bigla. As in, like, I think I was cooking in the kitchen. I think I was making banana fritters. Um, and then nag-play na lang siya sa kitchen. And yung unang-unang statement po na nabasa was about Ella. And nagpasu- nagpasukan ko lahat ng housemates sa loob ng bahay because most of the housemates were in the girls' baron or in the garden, I think. Tapos po, kami ni Andre yung nagkatinginan kasi when they read the first statement, parang naging sure po kami na ako yung nagsabi nun about Ella. And that that's why I was like, yeah, okay, like, I said that. Um, So yun po yung number one for me. Tapos po, um, 12 housemates na lang nun and we had 12 statements. So it was very, like, sobrang dali pong nag-click sa aming lahat na one statement for housemate, but for Gail and Ralph, kasi po may, maybe yung pressure nung task, um, parang hindi, hindi po nila naisip na it's just one statement for housemate. Tapos po, um, di nung binabasa na nila, and when it got to my actual statement, because um, that conversation, that same exact conversation happened between myself, Ralph, and Gian. Um, and Ralph said very similar things, obviously different words, but they're like, Along those lines, nasa ano po kami no? nasa lounge chair sa my pool area. Um, so I thought, siya po yung because the, the wording was very similar. And nagkatinginan din po kami Jen, and we were just like, Ralph said that, right? And at that point, kasi I think that was like the ninth, the ninth or the eighth um, statement. At that point, they've said my name for every statement. So I was, I was very frustrated kasi iniisip ko. I'm not the only housemate. Parang hindi lang ako yung nagsasalita dito sa bahay ni Kuya. But they kept repeating my name for every statement. So at that point, I'm like, Ralph, just take it. Because this was a conversation. But nung, nung lumabas na po si Ralph and Gail, um, obviously, kasi this is not, like, people are going to believe what they're going to believe. But whether you like it or not, the human brain is not perfect. You're not going to remember every single thing you said. Lalo na po sa bahay ni Kuya kasi it's, everything is happening all the time, all at once. Everything is fast and slow at the same time. 
Um, and sometimes you just say things and some things are just like a passing comment. Yung sinabi ko po na yung Kerav about Quincy and Gail. It was a passing comment. It was such a non-event for me. Kaya hindi siya nag-stick sa akin. However, yung number one statement po, which was Kyron, um, na feel parang naisip ko po na sa akin siya because it wasn't a passing statement. It was something that I felt like I heavily felt towards Ella when I thought I said it because I I've said something similar about Ella. Um, I don't know if I'm making sense, but um, ang parang ang pinupoint ko lang is sometimes you say things and you won't remember them because it's really not a big deal for you, right? Yun lang po yung, yun lang talaga yung mabibigay kong reason why hindi, why hindi ko naisip na sa akin pala yun. Um, but at the end of the day, it, it's, it really wasn't a big deal. I mean, I didn't think na mag-blow up siya sa, lo- sa labas ng bahay ni Kuya kasi sa loob, sobrang non-event talaga siya. Sobrang hindi siya big deal. Um, siguro naging big deal lang nung nag-react na ako kasi they kept repeating my name nga and I said, we're gonna, we're gonna get a violation for this because um, they had to get, I think, 9 out of 12 and they've said my name like six times for the 12th statement. So, yun lang. That's, that's really all I could um, say about that. Same, same uh, reaction din naman with um, Justin before na parang sa loob akala niya parang hindi naman big deal pero iba kasi when it comes sa outside world there are fans, there are wearing fans, you know, iba yung, iba yung kapag comments na in opinions of other people na hindi naman talaga involved with the issue. So, for those people na, syempre, hindi natin talaga may iwasan eh. It's a show and millions of people are watching. So, um, ano na lang yung thing na gusto mong i-clarify or i-correct if ever man may impression sa'yo about doon sa nangyari? Um, so, I think parang I'm still kind of like processing everything because that cheese quiz thing was like it was such a it was such a small deal. So yeah, before I was out of the house, it really I didn't think about it like the day after, or, like the day after that. Um, so like for me to address it now, it's like I have to like dig deep because I have to really think about it because it really wasn't anything. But um, yun lang talagang masasabi ko. I mean. I mean, I don't even want to apologize to it because I, parang, I couldn't have done any better. Like, I really couldn't have. If I could go back in time, I probably would have done the same thing. So I really couldn't have done any better. That's why I can't apologize for it. But siguro ang gusto ko na lang i-clarify sa mundo. Kasi I think the biggest thing right now is like backstabbing with Ella. And nung, nari- nung paglabas ko, and yun yung pinakamalaking issue, parang, na ano ko sa sarili ko na I'm 27 backstabbing is so high school like and um I think nagulat lang ako na ganun yung perception kasi for one and I think this is the most important thing um yung mga nangyayari sa loob ng bahay was not intense at all like really wasn't that intense no one was ganging up on anyone no one was targeting anyone kasi po I think na focus lang yung yung show sa Something that, lalo na maybe me and Andrea, because Andrea, Andrea was the closest housemate, was my closest housemate. So, um, pag nag-event po ako sa kanya, and pag nag-event po siya sa akin, maybe it was construed as backstabbing when we were literally just two friends having a conversation about our day. Um, tapos po, ang, kin- ang gusto ko rin ma-clarify na those two-minute, five-minute conversations, they really do not sum up the whole day. They really do not summarize the whole day and kasi po hindi ko pa napapanood lahat ng episodes but um i'm sure ella has her moments like i'm not saying she's a bad person i'm i'm just saying that everyone has their moments right and um ang gusto ko lang talagang sabihin was no one was ganging up on ella kasi yun yung parang naging ano talaga dito sa labas na sobrang kinakawawa si ella ng bahay which i know for a fact it's not true um, but people are going to believe what they're going to believe anyway. So that's that's all really I can say about that. And just, may mga napanood ka na ba ng mga uh, previous episodes? And you saw how your fellow housemates give you points during nominations. I, ha- I, ha- ng- 
nagkaroon ba ng changes sa pagtingin mo sa kanila from the usual day na during kasama mo sila sa loob? Um, I actually haven't watched nomination clips. Um, I, pero may nakita akong list for nominations and I think first nomination, um, Kobe Hira and Andrea nominated me for one point and um, Leah Frenchica nominated me um, on week four, I think. Um, maybe yung pinakamalaking shock sa akin was Andrea. But then again, Andrea and Kobe, but then again, like that was, that was the second week of the show. So maybe we were, we weren't just seeing like eye to eye. And um, I mean, I don't hold any grudges for that. Lalo na kay Leifer. I think Leah first nominated me like multiple times, but it doesn't change how I see Leifer. It doesn't change my feelings towards Leifer. I mean, I still love that kid. Um, I still admire him. It's a game at the end of the day and we all have to play it. Whatever, however they felt about me, that's fine. I mean, I felt things too. So, wala, walang nagbago sa pagtingin ko kanila. Um, just a little shocked with yun nga kay Andrea and Kobe, but that's about it. And syempre, the best person na pwede kong tanongin regarding sa big four ay ikaw yun kasi nakasama ka nila. Um, kung bibigyan ka ng chance na ikaw yung mamili na magiging big four, sino yun at bakit? I-rate natin, i-rank natin sila from fourth to big winner. So, sino yung fourth para sa'yo? Um, I've answered this question, pero binigyan ko sila ng big four, but yung binigay kong big four na yun was in no particular order, and I think I forgot to mention that the other day. So, para sa mga makakarinig nito, yung una kong sagot, that was in no particular order. But today, I will give you my fourth, um, third big placer to big winner. Actually, I've, I've never thought about this. So this is going to be impromptu. So this is probably the best you're going to get. Um, so fourth big placer, I think for me, would be Kobe. Um, Kobe. Kobe, sobra sobrang impressive na bata. I mean, he was like, he's one of my best mates in the house. Sobrang genuine, not just nice, but actually kind. And talented, my discarte, my leadership skills, my initiative skills. For a 17-year-old, he's really, really impressive. Kaya, siya yung napili ko as one of my big four. Um, second in line would be Andrea. Andrea for the same reasons. Um, 19 pa lang si Andrea, but when you sit down with her um, and have a conversation with her, parang, like, she's way ahead of her age when in terms, like, emotional maturity and psychological maturity. Sobrang nakaka-impressive. And Andrea has shown like a lot of um like potential in the house. Sobrang galing din sa mga taas. Sobra sobrang talented din. And sobrang madiscapted din ni Andrea. Um, that's on top of like being physically stunning. So I, I know that that shouldn't count, but I just want to say that out there na Andrea is like one of the prettiest housemates. But yeah, she's um my, what's that? Second big placer? Second. Mm. Then first? Um, first big placer, obviously, would be Gian. Um, nung nakilala ko si Gian, I mean, every single day, parang she hasn't missed a day na hindi niya napapatawa yung bahay ni Kuya. And siya yung pinakabata sa loob ng bahay ngayon. And if, if, if you're inside the house, like, you will see how much she drives the house. Parang, Pag wala si Gian, mafe-feel namin talaga lahat na wala siya sa, na wala yung presence niya. And yung story ni Gian, sobra-sobrang strong ng batang yun. Sobrang resilient. Tapos yung kahit sobrang dami yun ng napagdaanan at a very young age, you, don't, you never hear her complain. Sobrang strong lang, sobrang masiyahin. Talented din, as in nakakabilid yung talent ni Gian. And I think she, parang, she needs, she needs this kasi it will boost her confidence dahil nga sa mga napagdaanan niya na. And yun yung reason pa kung bakit siya first big place. And your big winner is? And for the big... My big winner is Ralph. Um, Ralph is one of my best mates in the house. But actually, yung, it's going to sound... People are going to say this is bias. But then again, we all have our biases and this is mine. Um, I'm trying to justify it as much as I can. I'm trying to be as reasonable as I can. Pero yung big four ko plus me, yun talaga yung, kami talaga yung pinaka naging um, close sa bahay in the last, I would say, three weeks. Um, but 
ang big winner ko is si Ralph kasi Ralph has gone through so much and sobrang bata pa rin po ni Ralph. And yung attitude ni Ralph is it's very impressive. Parang sobrang he's very authentic, he's very genuine and he is such a good friend. Like he he I will keep keep him in my life forever kasi sobrang special ni Ralph. So sobrang bait. Tapos he's shown like like improve like growth in the house like impressive growth in the house tapos yung mga napagdaanan ni Rafa at a very young age tapos inayos niya yung buhay niya nung pumunta na siya ng friends yung mga napagdaanan niya parang yung naririnig ko yung story niya kung sa akin nangyari I probably wouldn't survive or I wouldn't be as happy as he is now um yun yung reason ko kung bakit siya yung big winner ko kasi I think he deserves to go all the way to the top PBB has become the gateway sa showbiz. So, are you willing to give it a try? Or prior pa ikaw pumasok sa Big Brother House, talagang gusto mo na talagang mag-showbiz? Um, I, no. Like, a quick answer is no. I, nung bago ko pumasok sa bahay ni Kuya, I didn't even think about the entertainment industry sa Pilipinas. Kasi, um, It's not a secret, but I've been an accountant for like six, seven years. Um, accounting has all, like, that's, that's all I've ever known. Um, and if you look at the accounting industry and the entertainment industry, like two opposite sides of the spectrum. Um, so when that I got an idea about this, and um, in saying that, though, because I've been doing accounting for six, seven years, and in the grand scheme of things, I'm still really young. So at this point in my life, I really want to try new things. I don't know if it's going to be the entertainment industry but I'm open to anything that will come my way. Um, just as long as I have guidance and like there will be people around me to help me with whatever is going to come my way. So yeah, like I'll be open to anything. That's good. And ano ba talaga, ano ba yung talent mo, ano, Alisa? Na no nag uh, audition ka ba? May pinakita kang talent doon? Oh my god, this is such a question. Pero nung sa audition ano ko, sa audition tape ko, um I specifically said, I can't sing, I can't dance, I've never tried to act. Um so nung nag audition ako, I didn't think na makakapasa ako kasi alam ko mga Pilipino very very talented when it comes to singing, dancing and I can't do either of them. So <laughs> To answer your question, wala akong talent pagdating sa mga ganun. Um, really talaga. I'm not even gonna like try and sugarcoat it. Wala. Like I can't. I mean, with dancing, like if I if I truly apply myself, then I I could dance. Um, singing wala talaga. I think singing, either you can sing or you can't sing. Um, in terms of acting, that's probably the the one thing that I'd be interested in the most. But then again, I've never tried to act in my life. So it will be interesting if if any of those things come my way. Pero ito na lang, tanong ko. Kung gagawin MMK, yung life story mo, sino ang gusto mong gumanap as in yung mas makaka-relate ka sa Lisa? Like Like local celebrities? Kung sinong, yeah. Kahit sino, kung sinong gusto mo. Oh my God. Such a good question. Um, maybe Angelica Panganiban? Anong meron kay Angelica But, um, na for yun makakarelate ka? I've loved her ever since I was young. Like as long as I can remember. I... Nung bata pa lang ako, I thought she was so beautiful. I thought she was stunning. And hanggang nag, nung sa, kasi I've lived in the Philippines until I was about 16. Um, so for that long, I looked up to her. Parang yung personal, personality niya, I can kind of see myself sa personality niya. Tapos sobrang galing din na actress talaga. And like I said, very, very stunning. So it would be like an honor if like she plays me in MMK. Parang, it would be like mind blowing but yeah like if i had to choose it to be her and last question ko na lang alam mo alisa lahat ng mga big brother housemates tumatak na yan ano man ang mangyari ano man yung choices na gawin mo 
after ng Pinoy Big Brother. So, para sa iyo, paano mo gustong ma- mas makilala or mas tumatak sino si Alisa sa Pinoy Big Brother? Um, ang gusto kong ma- matak sa kanila na na ako is I think pin I, I think pinakita ko to sa sa loob ng bahay ni Kuya and I really really hope na nakita to ng taong bayan but um just speaking up for yourself and being strong and kahit et eto nag struggle talaga ako dito kahit hindi kahit wala pa ako sa bahay ni Kuya pero nung nasa bahay na ako ni Kuya eto talaga yung pinakamalaking struggle ko sa sarili ko was believing in myself and gusto kong yung ako yung tumatak na parang um It's like it's it's going to be a slow process, but if you learn to believe in yourself, then good things are gonna come your way. Parang yun yung gusto ko ma ma iparating sa tao na just be patient with yourself because I have been patient with myself and it's it's been a good thing for me. Um, gusto ko rin to matag na women should be wi- women should speak up more. Women are important too, and we are a very very big part of the society, and we are we are important too. So yun lang sana nakita nila sa akin yun. And kindness is always always on top kahit man hindi hindi na portray yun hindi hindi parang iba yung nakita ng tao but I try to exercise exercise that as much as I can sa loob ng bahay ni Kuya. So I I hope na mas mabibigyan ako ng chance to deliver that message. Yeah. Alam mo, Aliza, may isa't lang talaga akong question. Hanggang ngayon, puzzled ako sa'yo. Kasi um, kanina sinabi mo na para nabuli ka when you were in high school, ganyan, um, for being you. Pero pag nakikita naman kita ngayon, you're almost perfect, Aliza. So parang, ano bang meron sa'yo nung high school? And what are the changes you've made to yourself, sa sarili mo? with your thinking, with your perception, na eto na si Alisa ngayon. I'm much better Alisa. Um, I think no, I think moving to Australia has, um, has played a lot into it. Kasi I moved to Australia at 16. So parang yung move na yun is, that was like one of the toughest things that I've ever gone through. Kasi, Being a teenager, you're still figuring yourself out. Like, am I still a kid? I'm stepping into adulthood. Like, everything is happening all at once. Tapos nagmove pa kami sa Australia to a foreign country na I didn't know anyone. I didn't have anyone but myself and my family. So, tapos I kind of just was thrown in the deep end. Na parang wala kong practice. Na tapos yung Australian culture pa sobrang ibang iba dito sa Pilipinas. So I think yun talaga yung parang nag It, that changed my life. That changed who I was. Parang yun talaga yung naging um, like bridge into my growth to who I am now. Um, kasi sa Australia, like being a person of color and being a woman, like it's it's already like you're already on the losing end. So I think dun ko talaga na na realize na I just have to be strong. I just have to have a loud voice, like not literally, but like me- metaphorically, a loud voice and like try and speak up for what I want and who I am para hindi lang ako nasa back burner na wala nakakapansin sa akin or just to fly on the wall. So, yun talaga yung nakapagpabago. Yun talaga yung reason behind who I am now is um, the things that I've gone through in my life. And I think um, I'm very grateful for that because I like who I am now. And I just, and that it's taken me a long time to hear me say that. But I'm glad. Thank you so much, Alyssa. Hello, Roar Nation. I'm Alyssa, and you are watching Lionheart TV. Roar.